Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And late last night, a young lady sent me a picture of this JPEG, and you can tell it's a JPEG by how pixelized it is. And I was trying to walk her through this, but I think it's just easier for me to make a video. She wanted the detail. So this is a colored clip art. Nine times out of ten, I start with a black and white. But I, so I, I converted it to a black and white clip art, but I lost all my detail. So I bitmapped it as grayscale. So you take your bitmap image, go to bitmap, convert to bitmap, and instead of black and white, you pick grayscale. And then you trace it. So here's my trace copy. Now, this is ready to run, but if you ran this job at, let's say, 100 power and 50 speed, it's all going to blend in. It's not going to be very good. So what I did, and they're all broken apart, our tiger's head is 16, almost 17 inches. I made my nudge distance 18. So I'm going to grab all the grays and I'm going to move them out of the way. I'm, all I'm doing is using the right arrow key and cursing over in my nudge. That shouldn't be there. My um, nudge distance is set the same. So all these are the same. So we're going to go here and select all these. We're going to go control G to group those together. Our black control G is all grouped together. And just for instance, I'm going to create a yellow box and put back a page and move my yellow box to the black and see there's nothing there. It's transparent. So it's a good engraving. So what I would do now, you can move all these back. Now you could run this at 100 power at 100 at 50 speed, but it's all going to blend together. And inside Corel or at least Epilogue's deal, you could select one of those groups of items. So you've got a good group of 10 items on one layer. I've got a group of 19 objects on another layer. You could select the black and hit print and print it with selection, you know, at 100 power. 50 speed and then you could go back and grab the gray and select it but it's almost easier sometimes is just to get it off the page print this at 100 speed 50 power or whatever your settings are then move that out of the way and grab your gray and run the laser again at 100 power and 100 speed it'll give you a, a good uniform light engraving and when you're through It'll most likely look like that. Anyway, I hope that helped her a little bit, and thank you for watching.